Hello friends, welcome back. We've made it to episode 10, chugging right along. Thanks for joining me again. If you want to support me, check out my Patreon. Patrons get extended versions of the episodes as well as some bonus content. Today, I have a very special guest for you. A guest who, honestly, we should have seen earlier. But, at last, she is here. My name is Ashley Clements. And my name is Laura Spencer. And you're watching the Look Back Diaries. <laughs> and then there's an opening thing that goes here. Do, do, do. Yay! Thank Yay! you so much for joining me. It's so <laughs> lovely to see. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. <laughs> um, we knew that had to happen. We knew it had to happen. You know, that like really evolved as a, as a tagline <laughs> for Jane. I think because you were so precious saying it. Aw, yeah, Jane. Jane was a precious soul. You know, I'm I'm excited to to see into her pureness once more. It's been a while. <laughs> you you very much you very much created a a Disney princess of a, of a character. It's funny. That's like that is some of the comments. Some of the comments are like, "She's not real. She's she's like a live action Disney princess." <laughs> Uh, you missed your calling. You could have. You could have been. Ugh. You know, one of those Disneyland princesses. You know, I think you're every actually time... tall enough. There's a height limit. <laughs> I'm hey. too short. That's why I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's incredible that you know that. Actually, when I've gone to Disneyland, um, little kids have have said Ariel when I'm in line, and I just go with it. Well, it's know, also probably because you're walking around in your bra. So that's yeah, I'm just I'm I always go to Disneyland with a a bra made of just seashells. A seashell. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> fine. That's normal. That's good. Oh. Well, we we missed having you on for the very first shoot day. This is we are now in the second batch of episodes. This was the second day that we were all in Jenny's little apartment. Oh, wow. The second time was interesting, I think, because we were getting together and the show had been coming out. We, we'd we been airing it for maybe like two weeks or something like that when we went to film the second episode. Wow, is that right? I don't remember mm -hmm. how many we would film at once. I know it was a lot. Oh, um, it was eight plus a Q&A. So I did not. <laughs> <laughs> you have that ingrained in your memory. Well, um, also, I was in all of them. You were in because, all of them. Like, we would try to schedule other people so they didn't have to be there for the full day. So, right. Um, so your days would vary depending on how many you were in that batch. <laughs> wow. Batch filming. All of the Indeed. wardrobe changes. All of us, like. I was doing and like you do it. You did so much stuff with your hair. You did the most with your hair. You had the cutest hair. That was fun. That was that was um that was fun creating the Jane braid. Um, you know, yeah, you made iconic hairstyles. <laughs> I'm like I've never been good with hair, and so there are a lot of episodes I watch where I'm like, mm -hmm, yep, somebody else should have done my hair. I'm sorry that I couldn't be there for you, sister. Well, look, we did not have a lot of time. We also had like 10 minutes maybe between episodes. I feel like I'd be changing clothes and they'd be like, are you ready yet? I'd be like, I just, I finished filming the last one five minutes ago. Like, can I pee? <laughs> um, so yeah, we were just, yeah. And I remember we would, we would also, because we were all wearing our own clothes for a lot of this. We all would of our own clothes for a long time. Holding them up going like, can we wear this in the same episode? Great. Um, cause we didn't want to clash. Yeah. You know, we cared. We cared. Although we did eventually get some clothes for you. I think, we did. I think this is so weird about my brain. I remember the clothes more than a lot of other things. So like, I think when we get to the episodes where, where they had borrowed clothes for you because you were the fashionista, I think I'll know. I think I'll be like that one. <laughs> oh, I'll borrow. know. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll know because it won't be my clothes. I also borrowed right. clothes from friends that I felt mm. had good style. Um, and just like created an entire Jane wardrobe that was such an aesthetic, you know, such a, like a tweed aesthetic. Yes. Yes. Um, well, and very, very, very like Tumblr 2012. at the time. Twelve, Exactly. exactly. <laughs> very 2012 yes. Tumblr. <laughs> Lots of yeah. bows and braids. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and that little know. curl thing. What is that called? Oh, I did a little, I did. Yeah, you're right. I did do that. Like a pinwheel. 
or something? Uh-huh, yes, yes. I mean, I um, think, you know, you're probably the most fun to cosplay. Oh, you think? I think that, like... What's some of your hairstyles? It's fun to cosplay you in... You cosplaying other characters yes, in the show, too. Yes, that's like, also I feel like that's fun. also, yeah. Yeah, that's basically cosplaying Lizzie cosplaying. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I mean, like, I, I'm the easiest to cosplay because, like, I just need a blue plaid shirt. It's great. I'm wearing this in every episode. Is that, is that the shirt? Oh, yeah, it's the shirt. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have worn a more... This no. is kind of how I feel Jane would be present in 2022. Like well, that's this is, great. I feel it's very fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like this. This doesn't go out of style. This is a very basic it's, uh, shirt. It's no, it's classic. Classic. it's classic. Classic. It's not basic. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. But no, I mean, the reason I've kept it all these years is very much because it's. The Lizzie shirt. Yeah. I don't wear it. Like, I don't actually walk around in real life wearing this shirt at all. You don't go to but Starbucks I... and say my name is Lizzie in the shirt? <laughs> no. It's funny because a lot of the fans have been like, is that the shirt? And I'm like, yes, I'm doing a thing here. I love it. For you. I, I but think also that's because it's in such good condition. It's in such pristine. <laughs> because it has just been sitting in the closet, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't get worn. Has not seen sunshine. <laughs> but yeah, no, it makes my life way easier for this show because we went through a lot trying to like wardrobe these characters for so many episodes, and then our yeah, clothes we were, were also like makeup, no. Hair. We had we had makeup help because um, remember in the first batch of episodes we're all wearing like way too much makeup. <laughs> okay, you're and right. I forgot that. To tone Sorry it down. to the makeup artist that helped um, us. You're right. We did have makeup help. But but she didn't do hair. Uh, and she didn't have a lot of time. Also, like we had a tight we had a tight schedule. I mean, we would do a twelve hour day and we'd shoot eight episodes, and it took like about an hour, hour fifteen, depending on the episode. And then we, you know, changing in between, and then there was lunch. So like you had a so many lines too. <laughs> I remember you had your music stand yes, with your script yes. pages. Mm -hmm. And I was always just like mesmerized by like how much you had stored inside your brain and what you were able to do. Thank you. I, me too, now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, I was very shortly out of grad school and I had been doing theater and I was understudying. So like, you know, I was used to being in three shows at once and understudying different roles in all of those shows. And, and so like, you know, bully for me, I was very good at memorizing and I, I did, but like 10 years later, I'm like, I don't know if I could do that. Anymore. <laughs> you could. I believe in you. You could. I don't know. I don't know. You want to watch an episode? I do. I sure do. Uh, all right. It's episode 10. It's cats and chinchillas. Look at you. On the theory that the internet is as bored stiff as I am with the continuing Bing Lee saga, I'm going Ugh, to Yeah, to so play. boring. Post we don't want to hear about... Posting these pictures of cats, but they were trapped by themselves. <laughs> We this didn't have wild a watching lot of this, right? I know it's like it's it feels like a high school reunion, right? This is so cool! Oh my gosh! I do remember that they had me say chinchilla a bunch of different ways, and the one that made it in is the cutest one. Oh, Here you wow. are, like Snow White. What happened, babies? We are babies. I know. Oh, Aww. the romance this continues. And this was, this was before we did any of the guys cast in the show, right? We were all yes, looking it for is. our imaginations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we completely made up who they were. Us and the audience were all... I will point out that I'm very excited to support your sex life here, but I've been very much shaming Lydia for hers. And that's a, a double standard. <laughs> oh, boy. Not fair. You and me. Why do they want me to come? Is this some kind of weird sisterhood? No, it's not some Look at your room and like Lydia's room is across the hall, right? Yeah, well that's that's Lydia's room. That's the living room. But yeah. yes, that's what we that's made so up good. with those like magazine pictures. I mean really like I imagine this as the upstairs of their house. But it's a lot. I'm immediately brought back into mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. that like it's it was so convincing. 
And oh my gosh. I still cannot stop talking about Darcy. Mm -hmm. Someone's obsessed. <laughs> There's no such thing as too nice really sums up Jane very Yeah, well. exactly. <laughs> it's so interesting to hear the Jane voice of mm -hmm. like a higher mm -hmm. register. And I always felt like when we were meeting people that watched the show that I had to like be more Jane, you know, otherwise mm -hmm. I'd disappoint them. Mm -hmm. There was like a lot of pressure no. I put on myself to be this person. And in hindsight, I I do regret that pressure I put on myself. I know. It's so funny. You know, now it just feels like more of a settled adult. And I'm like, why did I care so much about what people thought? Because it was our oh. first experience of hearing what people thought. Oh, and that's, that's good to show up. <laughs> I will shout out Margaret Dunlap wrote that episode, which is why there's a Vulcan mind meld in it. <laughs> that's a that's a Star Trek reference. She snuck in a few. I know it's wow. wild, right? Like, well, and now I'm just thinking sounds. about our audition and everything of like getting all you know mixed in with all the other people auditioning and and remember seeing you, remember seeing Mary Kate, I remember seeing Julia, and you know wondering like, are they going to go red? Are we going to be the redheads? Uh -huh. Are they going to go blonde? You know, like it was, it was very much an interesting process. And now it's, it's, um, I need to go back and watch the first episode that we did together. Cause that would have been, you know, us finding our chemistry in that moment. And I certainly, by this next batch, we had gotten to know one another more through rehearsals and this process. And by this of it point, I think out. we were also like making an effort to see each other. Outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, we were. We, we, we were. All, we were very aware that we like needed to come off as people who were very, very close. Absolutely. Um, and we did have a good amount of rehearsal before the first episode. Like we rehearsed several times at least before that one, and then and then I think we got into the sort of standard rotation of just one rehearsal before each shoot. Wow. And a lot of those rehearsals were less about like rehearsing in terms of like making decisions um, about what things were going to be and a lot about just like hearing it out loud. There was in some ways they were sort of like table reads because then like exactly get yeah. to the script. And yeah. you were very, I remember you were very, very interactive. They were so lucky to have you playing Lizzie because you were so familiar with Pride and Prejudice and you were like, I feel strongly about this being said this way or this being like you, you were, you were so in tune with what needed to happen story wise and an asset to, like, I felt like the writers had such a gift in you to be able to interact with, like, in developing the entire story. I remember that through the rehearsal periods of, like, Ashley's, like, making edits and, like, <laughs> it's awesome. Well, thank you. That's very, very kind of you. And I am, you know, very fortunate that, um, that, that I was allowed to contribute that much because, you know, there's plenty of environments where that might have just been, you know not well received and I would have just yeah. been told to show up and act. Um, but yes, I did have very strong opinions. Um, it was kind of like Lizzie. <laughs> I was like, Hey, <laughs> you're wrong about this and it needs to be this other way. But I didn't present it that way. I was no. more diplomatic. Yeah. <laughs> but um, speaking of lucky to have people, you made such a, a memorable Jane and a, and a complicated oh. layered Jane. There's this really beautiful relationship that develops between Jane and Lizzie. And then, you know, later we're going to see Jane and Bing and Jane and Lydia is such a special relationship. And, yeah, and Jane sure. and Charlotte really like these, these <laughs> just kind of special, unique relationships all around. And you brought so much of a, just a really kind of beautiful spirit. To oh. Jane. Thank you. Yeah, I think that like it's it's and, and she is different from you. I mean, you're both like very good people, but like you were doing something <laughs> that is, you know, I mean, a lot of people are like, how at the time I was very, you know, like I'm acting. Um, but I think that <laughs> and I was, I mean, yes. And sometimes I was acting. Um, like <laughs> tone it down, girl. But um but I think that I was playing the character who was closest to myself. Uh, and I think you and Mary Kate got to play characters that were quite unlike yourselves. You're much more assertive. You're not afraid to ask for what you want. You know, and in some ways, Jane is like, just gonna be nice about it. Right. 
Right. But I have a lot of, like, I, I, I have, like, Janes in my life, in, you know, or, and it was an easy character to understand because there are certain parts of her that are my personality, but it, totally. I, yes, it, it was fun to create, like we were saying in, in the video, of just, like, a different vocal, even just, like, a different register to speak in was, like, a very helpful tool to drop into her and the physicality of it. We were, uh, for, like, a kickstarter perk we needed to do a jane uh snickerdoodle recipe video and yeah, i yeah. was struggling so hard to remember exactly how to be jane because it had been mm. so long of like okay wait like, what was the voice exactly and it was so fun i mean i say struggle i was fun but it was it was so it was it was a character you know let's take a look at some comments because that's a feature that I'm doing. Oh, wow. Comments on the video? Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, I like how she listens to her eyeballs. It's very effective. That's eight years ago. Did anyone get it? Did anyone reply? It's actually a Vulcan mind meld. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Did anyone else notice how Lizzie's Ashley Clements voice changes when Jane, Laura Spencer, comes into the room? It gets softer. Hey, and she look at Jane. that. Good acting says, there, folks. We got a Jane's outfits are so cute. <laughs> mm, important to note. Yes, That's one year ago, fantabulous star girl. They are. Lizzie reading Jane's mind. Yes, some people get it. Caitlin Ewing one year ago. I, Liana a year ago says, I forgot how funny this series is. Glad I'm rewatching. It is a funny show, isn't it? It's cute. It's very It's cool cute. to know people are rewatching it and finding it. I mean, occasionally I will get a message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, Me occasionally too. I'll get a message from somebody saying that they did and or that they wrote a paper about it, or are writing a paper so about it. So many of those. Yeah, this has been used a lot academically. That's awesome. Mm. <laughs> Something I, I just never really, I just never considered it, like whenever getting involved with this project, although it seems fairly obvious that a modern adaptation of Pride and Prejudice uh, would, you know, have that kind of future. But I don't think we understood what we were getting into at the time as far as like... No, I don't think any of us understood this what we were reach. getting into. This show will forever be a time capsule of what was happening on YouTube specifically, you know, and like all the transmedia components, like Twitter was huge. Tumblr was, was getting yeah, big. Yeah, Tumblr was a big part of it. Yeah. And, and, um, Jane had a Tumblr. And it's funny because it's a little bit before you, Instagram was as popular because I we know on Instagram, which now seems like Duh, we would have been on Instagram. I think, yeah, I feel like Jane would have had an Instagram more than a Yeah, but instead Tumblr. you had a lookbook, which I feel I like is not a thing that... A Tumblr, no? It was like Looks by Jane on Tumblr. Yeah, you definitely had a Tumblr, but didn't you also have a lookbook? Did I have a lookbook? What is lookbook again? See, I don't remember. I must have. Yeah, no, lookbook. It's called lookbook. See, this is, this is embarrassing, but it really has been a decade, so it's like I'm forgetting even... It's not embarrassing. It's hard to remember things. So uh, this is so much like um, Instagram. Look at, you. Look at those it outfits. Is. Well, and this is now how people use Instagram, right? Oh my gosh! And it says what the clothes are. They're all labeled like Forever Twenty One headband, BCBG wow. shirt, H and M navy shorts, Roadrunner pins, Sammy dress shoes. Which is you know again how people do Instagram and clicking on the wrong. Okay, thing. I'm starting to remember. I'm starting Super to remember this. Super cute. Well, and like I, I can see, I recognize the mod cloth ones when we got those. For but sure, yeah, yeah. Look at all these out, but like you styled this. I did. Like, we didn't even get like a stylist to come through and help you with these things. Like you, they were so lucky they cast someone with such great taste and style oh, that you were it, able to I'm do that. At, I'm looking at some of these going, oh, that's very accessorized. Um, <laughs> but, but again, wow, it was 2012. I know. Precious. This is this is fun to see. I have not looked at these images in a long time either. Um, this is cool. Amazing. Okay, I remember the lookbook. Yeah, you always remembered it. You remembered it the whole time. I always remembered it. Yes, you're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it's been a delight having you, and I will have you back on soon. Ooh, yay. Thanks for joining, <laughs> Laura. And thanks to all of you at home for joining as well. We'll be back, looking back. To, uh, the look the look back diaries.